Welcome to the HR Empowerment Podcast, where we will uncover strategies and new insights from HR professionals who discuss up-to-date regulations, best practices, and the most pressing topics like diversity and equity, leadership, dealing with difficult situations, and much more that affect your bottom line and business. Thanks for joining us. Hey, everybody, Wendy Sellers here, the HR lady. I am here with my co-host, JC. It is a pleasure to be back, and I am not the HR guy. No, you're not. No, I'm not. It's so funny that you mentioned that. Uh, <laughs> I had my brother here from out of town, just dropped him off at the airport, actually, and uh, he was driving my car. My license plate is HR lady. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, man, I've been driving your car all week. <laughs> Go he's with like, it, and it says that I'm the HR lady. <laughs> Go with it. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, maybe he doesn't understand how prestigious of a title that is, though. You know, <laughs> he's more the OSHA ISO guy than the HR lady. Anyways, maybe uh, Wendy. Wendy, hang on though. Maybe he's <laughs> just trying to connect with you on a different way. Is connecting yeah, right? with family different than connecting with coworkers? <laughs> not, not really. It's all all about connections, and that's what we're going to talk about today. I want to talk about how to connect with coworkers. I want to take this series of podcasts a little step further. And, you know, we usually talk just about um, how managers can work with their employees. But uh, over the next five sessions, I want to talk about how just as a human, you can connect with other humans at work, whether they're your coworkers or, the, or your employees, if you're a manager. So we'll kind of take a little bit of a swing different here because even as managers, we have to connect with other people that don't work for us directly, right? All the time. Absolutely. Let it be in-house, out-of-house, or somewhere in between the houses. In between the houses, absolutely. <laughs> right. uh, or in my case, the RV. So for folks that don't know, I actually live in my RV and have been doing so for uh, well over six years and absolutely love it. And even with that, there's people I still need to connect with to get things done. Yeah. You know, at, at work, we spend well over 2,000 hours a year, and that's if you have a light schedule, uh, with coworkers. So we really need how to to learn how to connect with them on a human level because, you know, that H in HR is human. These people that we work with are actual humans that have things going on in our li their lives, and that can affect how we get our work done or, unfortunately, how we don't get our work done. Uh, absolutely, so Wendy, absolutely. And look, by building those relationships with the coworkers, you could create a more open and collaborative work environment, and that could ultimately lead to better communication and more efficient problem-solving amongst your teams, hands down. Yeah, people don't want to hate coming to work, man. They want to, whether it's virtually or whether it's in person, they want to say, you know what, I owe my coworker something today or I owe it to another team member something. And and even though I may ha be having a tough day, I'm, I'm on it because I respect that person because I have a connection with them. And that's what so much of work uh, management really is, is building connections and motivating people to not hate coming to work, maybe enjoy coming to work and saying, I really want to do things for these people that I'm working with, even if I'm having a bad day. So 110%, my friend. And when those coworkers are connected, they feel like they're part of that supportive team. They're more likely to be engaged and, and motivated to contribute to the overall success. I'm with you on that. It's all about the one thing is listening. Hey, folks, this works at home as well. <laughs> that magical listening word. And, I, and we, we hear it at home probably more than we do at work. And maybe we should hear more at work where people say, you're not listening to me. <laughs> we're not afraid to say it to the people we live with, but sometimes we're afraid to say it because of the consequences to folks that, you know, we work with. Now, I'm not saying run around at, at work and tell your coworkers or your managers, you're not listening to me because you're just going to be coming off as rude. So you really need to focus on your your own awareness, no matter what your role is to say, all right. Am I really listening to people? Um, am I, you know, too busy? Am I multitasking and therefore I'm inadvertently not listening? Or maybe I just don't love this person that's talking to me and I just stop listening. Well, I'm sure they affect your job somehow. So you need to start listening to coworkers and then really, really focus on your awareness. For me, when um, I'm distracted, which is almost always, I have to take notes. And that forces me to listen because I'm writing it down in my own words. And then I re re read my words and I do that out loud and say, 
is this what you were trying to say to me? Because I have a hard time understanding. You know, what's really interesting about that, even though you might be busy doing that, you're still providing those people uh, your undivided attention. Is, is, right. is that brain uh, physical connection where you, even though you're still writing it out or typing it out or whatever it might be, you are simply focused on them and that communication that's happening at that time. And that's really important to relationships. It is. You know, I, I'm glad you brought that up because I, this is one of the things that I say in my trainings when I t- get to this part in communication trainings about listening is, um, again, it's okay to take notes. It, it's okay to write things down, but, but, and there's always a but, some people, many people will think that you're not listening to them. They may think you're doing something else. They may think you're texting somebody, that you're emailing somebody. So I like to always, first of all, uh, especially if somebody is upset, is I close my laptop, flip over my phone so that I'm not distracted by technology. If I am using technology at all to take those notes, I show them. I go, hey, I just want to sh- I flip my screen around and show them the screen. Say, want to let you know I'm taking notes because what you're saying is important. And I want to make sure we follow up on this. Sometimes, though, if somebody's really upset, I, I don't do that. I just say, OK, I'm going to have to try to jot some not- notes down on a piece of paper and figure out my chicken scratch later. <laughs> or I'm just going to try to have to recap this um, at the end of this conversation and then quickly write it down at the end of the conversation. Because if somebody is upset, they really want you looking at them and truly, truly focusing on them. And those human factors are going to go a long way into retaining your staff. And that retention while connecting with coworkers is going to help foster a culture of inclusivity and collaboration at the end of the day. Right, Wendy? Absolutely. The whole moral of this is we need to learn to, you know, value relationships over meetings, over transactions, over, oh, this project's done. Yeah. Relationships help us get that project done. Uh, I don't care if you're the best engineer there is. You need somebody to help you some way, some somehow. And it's so, so important to make sure that everybody's winning together, even when we lose sometimes and valuing those relationships over transactions. All right, folks, to wrap up this section here, don't be afraid to be human. I want to talk about on our next episode how managers and human resources can help employees connect better. We'll see you in a minute. Thank you for joining the HR Empowerment Podcast, brought to you by Aurora Training Advantage. We hope you've gained new insight and strategies to navigate the HR profession. We look forward to you joining us again on the HR Empowerment Podcast.